Welcome back to another special edition Ab Nation Saturday morning. Those kind of shows going happening every Saturday morning is going to be a little bit more longer. We're going to review what's going on with the Montreal Canadiens, the prospect for the Montreal Canadiens, and that's the reason today we look about the prospect with the Canadiens, following by the preview game tonight again between the Ottawa and the Montreal Canadiens, following by a rumor around the Montreal, and finally stay until to the end. I have two big controversy news for the Montreal Canadian. I know, but it's okay. So the Saturday morning, the show will be a little bit more longer. It's going to be more like a one-to-one. -one. Me and you watching my comments about fan news around the Montreal Canadian. First of all, the prospect for the Montreal Canadian. Yesterday, the Laval Rocket played their first exhibition game in the last part of the score, 3-2. This is the Belleville Senator. This was the... First goal of the Laval Rocket, tip in front of the net by Vincent Arsenault. And then that goal came from Simono, but not good enough to give the W for the Rocket. Last by the score, 3-2. Now, the second player I want to talk about is Michael Edge. First game and the end say, you can see he get a puck now, pass. And then a one-timer shot on the power play gave the first goal of Michigan. Obviously, the last by 5-2. to two. And Then you can see Michael again with a puck right there. But find a way to get the puck and find the net. And you have a tip by his teammate. And that gave the second goal for the Michigan. It's two points. And the NC on his first NCAA first game with the Michigan. Uh, for same Michigan last play again. But it's called a fight to do. I don't think uh, Michigan have the same kind of powerhouse like they was in the last couple of years with some different key departure players. But I still believe they're going to have a good season uh, now, other players have a good night, uh, Friday night, is uh, Tyler Torp, the 6-5 for the Vancouver Giants uh, at two points yesterday, and the W by the Giants, 8-6 versus the Ken Loops, uh, and uh, he had five shots on the net. Uh, Owen Pratt uh, lost 5-2 uh, yesterday during the game against the Owen Sound attack, uh, and Pratt have uh, zero point. And same situation with Ben Merrill. Merrill, his team went 4-1 in the BCHL, but they have zero point. Preview game tonight, Montreal Canadiens versus Ottawa Senators. This is the game number two of the week between both teams. And remember, Tuesday night, uh, the hit from Raleigh Craig versus Kirby Dak, uh, Arbor Jekai versus uh, Tim Souza. And then uh, a lot of fiscal teams in that game. A lot of people expect a fiscal game tonight. I think what's happening here, guys. Nothing will happen. The Montreal Canadiens are focusing for the upcoming season. Ottawa Senators won the same thing. Two teams really only play hockey tonight. I don't see any physical team were happening like last game season night. Now, some fans thinking the lineup of the Ottawa Senators is going to be American Hockey League, a couple of players with some big guy. I don't think so. It will happen. Most of them played last night when they visited the Detroit Red Wings. And I think that's the reason why I feel like uh, the Ketchup, Susan, Norris, Patterson, Perron, Amadio, Sanderson, Shabbat, uh, Zab, and Goldtender, Ulmark are going to be a part of the lineup. And really, Montreal is going to send the top players uh, also for the last game of the preseason and be ready for the upcoming season. So this is my projection for the game tonight between Ottawa and Montreal. In the end, we expect possible Caden Cooley could be part of of the roster, his first game after his injury. Of course, when you watch this video, it's always early in the morning recording, and I never know exactly what it looked like the roster for the Montreal Canadian, and of course, uh, the Ottawa Senator. It's just my projection of what I expect for this game tonight, 7 o'clock at p.m. Eastern Time. Don't forget, we're going to do a play by play uh, tonight and talking about the Montreal Canadian, of course, with the many. Montreal Canadian fans inside of the chat. If you want to watch other games, the Laval Rocket play today at 3 o'clock p.m. versus the Toronto Marlies. And then Evan Demidov play this morning at 10 o'clock a.m. So if you watch this video before 10 o'clock a.m., but you can watch Evan Demidov play today with the team SKA. Now, the other rumor around the Montreal Canadian. From one is coming from Marco D'Amico and mentioned Montreal Canadiens are not targeting a player 
take the spot of Patrick Laine as the top six, but more looking about a bottom six and more as a four line with a player more play with uh, toughness, can respond if something happened on the ice. And a player like Nicolas Delaurier or a Matthew Olivier with a Columbus Blue Jacket. That's the prototype of players that look like the Montreal are targeting. Again, I don't understand that because hockey is not about this anymore. Yes, preseason, I know what happening the last three games for the Montreal Canadiens. But guys, the hockey is not about, it was in 1980 and 1990. If you're listening, George Larac, the last couple of days, you just think Montreal should need another enforcer when well, we already have a Michael Pesetta play seven, eight minutes per game, score three, four goals per year. And then we have Jekai at the blue line. I think this is not the way the Montreal are want to become. And I think this is a mistake if we want to add a Michael Pesetta, a Nicolas Delaurier, or a Matthew Olivier. I can name some players, Kozov or Matt Martin. At the end of the day, I don't think Montreal are targeting that. Delaurier is 33 years old, scored one goal last year. And 60 game, he was held to scratch 20 times last season. He's not the same Delaurier play with the Montreal again when he scored 10 goals. Yes, Mathieu Olivier is maybe a player I was targeting, but not this year. Next year, Pesada is on his final year contract. Mathieu Olivier become UFA at 28 years old with a Columbus Blue Jacket. So my point of view is wait one more year. And then maybe looking for Olivier. We need more skilled players. The hockey guys have one fight every three games. And usually, it's not Joshua Hua or Jake Evans going to fight. It's usually the same kind of players. If it's Josh Anderson, it could be Jekai, it could be Persada if you have to. But at the end, I think a Montreal will be round to targeting another enforcer at this moment, 2024-2025 season, have inside of the roster. Now, at the end subject, what are you talking about, coach? But the last 48 hours, 72 hours, it's starting talking about who is going to be the sixth defenseman for the Montreal Canadiens during the first game against the Toronto Maple Leaf, October 9, and Montreal for the season 2024-2025. And the conversation is Jekai versus Jaden Strobel. This is where the people are looking for to find out who is going to be that defenseman. And I think for me, for the Montreal Canadian, both opinions are valid. What are you talking about? We have to take a decision, coach. I know I'm going to give you my decision about this. But if you look about friend expert, Cover the Montreal Canadiens expect Jekai and they want Jekai to be in the lineup because what happening the last couple of games with the Montreal Canadiens? No doubt for them, they think Jekai have to be there if something could happen. Now, if you go that direction, you focusing on Ryan Reeves play four five minutes per game and they have no impact, no impact for the Toronto Maple Leafs play against the Montreal Canadiens. Oh, yeah, but yeah, Max Domi, come on. Max Domi, 5'11". Are you going to thinking, Montreal Canadiens have to focus on Max Domi and now to make a roster in case something could happen? And thinking the strength of this game is going to be Ren Reeves and Max Domi in case they could running after players like Lane Hudson, Cole Caulfield. For me, it's not this way. Martin St. Louis. His job is to win the game. This is what he tried to do. And the total Maple Leaf, in my opinion, have Matthews, Manor, Nalander, Tavares to shut down them if they have a better chance to win the game. This is the season now. And every game counts. It is a game inside of the Atlantic Division. So do you want a player like Jekai in case something happens? Or you want a Jaden Strobel? have maybe, in my opinion, the second best defenseman for the Montreal Canadiens during the training camp performance. Physical, shut down the opponent players, and I think he deserves it. What kind of message are you going to tell to Jaden Strobel? Sorry, 
you cannot play because in case something could happen. Jekai obviously did not have a great training camp. Yes, he defend the Montreal players, but overall, every time he play a 5 versus 5, he have a really difficult camp, in my opinion. So Martin said we now, with his staff, have to find out what we need to do to shut down the Toronto Maple Leaf. I think this is where I believe Jalen Strobel is going to start the season over Albert Jekai. Because hockey is about try to win the game. And I think Martin Sully wants to give rewards and say, you know what? If you show to us you deserve it, we're going to give it to you. And response said to Jekai, they will sit with him and say, look, you need to improve this. You need to do that. And when you're going to read that, we're going to put you in the lineup. This is my own opinion. I think Montreal are targeting to win the game over in case something could happen from Ryan Reeves. The guy is so slow, have no impact to the game. And I believe a Josh Anderson, a Kirby Dak, a Michael Pesada, a Jordan Strobel can take care about Max Domi. The rest of the players for the Toronto Maple Leaf are not physical. At the end for me, I believe the Montreal Canadiens are going to dress Jaden Strobel over Albert Jekai. Finally, like I mentioned to you, it's Sunday morning. I want to talk more about the Montreal Canadiens and I want to add one more thing. This is going to be the upcoming season next week for the Montreal Canadiens. The first thing I want to talk about for the success of the Montreal Canadiens for the upcoming season is about Lane Hudson. Lane Hudson is a unicorn. Hudson brings a lot of offensive side of the game. Yes, sometimes he's going to get beat and you're going to say because of Lane Hudson. But the most of the time you're going to say, oh, we score because of Lane Hudson. Look what Lane Hudson brings for the Montreal Canadiens. And I think that's why Lane Hudson is going to be an important player for the success of Montreal again for the upcoming season. Montreal again in the end, fans are really disappointed of the injury of Patrick Laney. At the end, it's not about Laney, it's about what we have. And we have an eccentric player like Lane Hudson. And I think this is what I'm so excited for the upcoming season. I think Lane Hudson is going to be a solid player for the Montreal Canadiens. Some of you would love to have Lane Hudson on the power plate right away, but it's not important right now for the Montreal game to rush everything with the rookies. Let's see what Mike Madison and the power play do in the first five, seven, eight game. If something does not work, then Martin said we will bring Lenardson. He will make some change on the power play and then we're going to see what it looks like. But for me, you have to go slow with the rookies and wait until you need it. And I think Lenardson on the second power play will balance both power play for the beginning of the season. We know they did not have zero goal on the preseason, but I think for me, Lenardson is going to become a major key success for the Montreal Canadiens during the season 2024-2025 this year. But not done yet, I have one more thing to talk about. The success in 2024-2025 have to come for the special team, power play and PK. In the last couple of years, Montreal Canadiens always been at the bottom on both uh, categories. This is the time Montreal Canadiens have to improve their special team if they want to be successful for the upcoming season. Then, the Kirby Doc season and the Cole Carfield season. What are you talking about, coach? But Kirby Doc played only four periods. The year before that, he played 58 games. A healthy Kirby Doc stabilized the center line for the Montreal Canadiens and will help the offensive of the game for the Montreal Canadiens. A Kirby Dak plays 75 games for the upcoming season. A Kirby Dak reached 50, 60 points at 20 to 25 goal will be successful for the Montreal Canadiens. Now, Cole Carfield is my second player I want to talk about because Cole Carfield have only a 8.7 shot percentage last season, one of the worst in NHL last year. Shot over 300 times. This is one I want Cole Carfield improve for the first time in his career, reach the 30 gold in NHL, and then improve his shoot percentage over 10%. If you see two stat improvement goal and the shooting percentage improvement, you won't see a better year for Cole Carfield, a better year for the Montreal Canadiens. This is what I feel they are the two players I'm targeting 
if Montreal have a better success for the upcoming season. Now, the goalie consistency. What are you talking about? But I want to be sure that Montreal Canadiens have many games, not more at three goals against, and better below at three goals per, per game average against. This is what the Montreal Canadiens need to become successful, and this is the only reason they can reach that because the goaltender performance with consistency. Samuel Montembeau played his first year in NHL as a starter. Kenan Primo had a security job as a backup number two with the Montreal Canadian. When one of them fall apart, Montreal are going to have not a great year for the upcoming season. And the only way to become successful is the consistency, game after game, of both goaltender with the Montreal Canadian and 2024-2025. Finally, whatever the outcome of Montreal Canadian. 80 point, 82 point, 83 point, 75 point. I want one thing is the development of the prospect play with the Montreal Canadiens. Talking about Caulfield, Sakaski, Doc, Newhook, Joshua Hua, maybe Kapanen, maybe Enneman, Kaden Cooley, Lane Hudson, maybe Mayu, Justin Barron, Jekai, Strawball, the goaltender, those players are really the key measure in the next couple of years to see with the Montreal Canadian. But I want to be sure them develop. In the same way, all the prospect Montreal Canadiens are not with the Montreal Canadiens roster for upcoming season. I'm talking about players at the Laval Rocket, Owen Beck example. Then usually was supposed to be David Rebacher, the NCA player, Jacob Fowler, Michael Edge, Evan Dimidov and KHL, Vincent Rover and NL. We'll see what a captain is going to play next season. But you know what I'm talking about. If all those players develop and become better at the end of the season, 2024, 2025, whatsoever the Montreal have a great year or an average year, this is the most important thing for the success of the Montreal Canadiens in 2024, 2025, the development of the prospect of the Montreal Canadiens. And this for me, that's what I'm talking about uh, if ever the Montreal Canadiens want to have a good year, this is all my expectation Montreal need to reach at the end of the year to have a good year for the upcoming season in NHL. And that's concluded, guys, my video of today. A little bit longer, a little bit a chat between you and me. And that's happening every Saturday morning now until the end of the season, 2024-2025. Until the next time, my friend, don't forget to subscribe, click on the like button. Leave me a comment. I like when you leave me a comment so I can answer for your comments about a Montreal Canadian. And today we have a great, strong subject. The prospect Montreal Canadian, the preview game tonight, the rumor. Do you think Montreal is going to add uh, four-liner players? And finally, the success of Montreal Canadian. But who is going to start as a sixth defenseman for the first game against the Toronto Maple Leaf? Do you expect Albert Jekai or Jaden Strawball? That's it, that's all, my friend. Remember, you have greatness inside of you, and we wish you an amazing, great, blessed day, everybody.